If you ever wondered why some popular characters are restricted to one franchise from one studio while others seems to star in multiple movies or TV shows simultaneously there is likely a two word answer to your question public domain copyright provides initial protection for all creative works including books films and other media the precise duration of a copyright varies depending on a number of variables including when the work was first protected However, typically speaking, a work's copyright remains in effect for 70 years following the author's passing. After that, a work is legally available to everyone to view, to view, read or use without the author's consent in the public domain. Here are 10 examples, but keep in mind that there is a difference between character in the public domain and works in the public domain. These characters are were developed so long ago that their original texts are now considered to be work of public interest and are no longer covered by copyright. First is Aladdin. What are the specifics of Aladdin from Disney with its sarcastic blue genie and handsome shirtless hero? Those are still wholly covered by Disney's copyright protection, but the fundamental Aladdin character along with the other well-known figures like Alibaba, he is of 40 thieves who are mentioned in Disney's Aladdin and Sindhubad, he is of his seven voyages derived from the well-known folktale Arabian Nights. And over the years, several printings and retelling of Arabian Nights have taken place. These kinds of articles also clearly violates the copyright. Next is Alice in Wonderland. Lewis Carroll who had written the origin, original version of Alice's adventure in Wonderland more than three decades earlier passed away in 1898. Therefore, the answer is that you can download the book for free and for sure. If you so desired, you could theoretically utilize its character in your own work as long as you specifically use them Carol's original novel and not, a, not one of its modern copyright protected adaptions. Next is Daredevil. You are free to create your own Daredevil comics, just not that Daredevil. Years before Matt Murdock became a vigilant in Hell's Kitchen in the pages of Marvel comics, a completely different hero called himself Daredevil in the pages of Lev Glacian publications. This Daredevil created by Golden Age comics artist Jack Binder fought crime with a blue and red costume and a special boomerang. Although Marvel owns the trademark for Daredevil, you can still use the character in your own stories if you choose. But you might want to give him a different name just to be safe. This Daredevil is currently in the do public domain. Next is Mr. Heidi and Dr. Jekyll. There have been a Jekyll and Hyde movies, TV series, comics, and even a few Broadway productions in recent years. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, as well as some of the earliest silent era cinema adaptions, have long since entered the public domain. Next is Dracula. At this day, hundreds of Dracula versions exist. In the past, creative filmmakers who wanted to mimic Bram Stoker's iconic work could do so by fiddling with the character's name. For instance, the great silent film Nosferatu 2 was an unlicensed adaptation that featured a Count Orlok instead of Dracula. Today you may blandly include Dracula as a character in your own film or television program as he recently did in Universal's Randfield, which stars Nicola, Nicolas Cage as the legendary bloodsucker. Next is Hercules. Hercules is one of the few characters who may be found in both the Marvel and DC comic book realms. Why not then, the mythology of Hercules and his mythical voyages dates back a very long time. Next is John Carter of Mars. John Carter has his roots in Boros story called A Princess of Mars which, has, which is no longer co protected by copyright. Just like another Edgar Rice Boros character that will follow on this list, though not for E.R. Boros estate still owns a trademark on John Carter of Mars and in fact the estate sued Dynamic Comics in the 2010s for publishing a John Carter comic. Next is Sherlock Holmes. The earliest Sherlock Holmes and Watson stories entered the public domain in 2000. But Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's estate continued to fight for years to enforce the character's copyright. At times, they claimed that particular version of Holmes only appeared in the later Doyle's stories. So if a new work was based on those versions of Holmes, it needed their permission. When they attempted to prevent Netflix from releasing their well-liked Elena Holmes films, they were still trying it as recently as the early 2020s. The Doyle Holmes catalog as a whole now in the public domain because the, that case was ultimately dismissed. Next is Tarzan. When the Library of Congress announced a change in copyright law in 2019, 
a blog post published highlighted titles that were officially entering the public domain, including Tarzan and the Golden Lion by Edgar Rice Burroughs. In his lifetime, Burroughs produced a number of Tarzan novels, not all of which are available for free reading. It is also worth noting that Burroughs still, still, still owns the Tarzan trademark. If you try to publish your own book title Tarzan vs. The Jungle Monster, you might get a call from their lawyers. Next is Robin Hood. The Prince of Thieves. He is a man in tights. This is him. Russell Crowe is him. Errol Flynn is him. Sin Canary is him. Taron Egerton is him. He is the public domain. Whatever he may be. So this is the this was our list for some characters who are in the public domain. We'll see you in the next video with some more characters. Bye for now.